Look at my face. Guys, if you like what I do on this channel, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday and Saturday. Before we get started, my son created this character right here. He is nameless, so I need at least three subscribers to find a name for this character and put it in the comments below. And I will give you guys a shout out in the next video I do. First figure is from minifigures.com and the cool thing about them is they print on actual Lego pieces which makes all the difference. Another cool thing is they have this great backer card and this cool packaging with a story in the very back. So make sure you check them out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Now let's open it on up. This is Wonder Woman, and she's in her Amazonian outfit, I don't know what you call it, but uh, it's one that LEGO doesn't actually produce, and they can't clearly call her Wonder Woman, they have to call her the Amazon Wonder for copyright reasons, but looking at this figure, I'm really impressed with the overall print. You look on the front torso, it's very neatly done. It's just got a really great transition from the top torso down to the legs. You see the shirt, skirt kind of just uh, flawlessly transition over there. It's got a, quite a few folds in there, a lot of detail that you don't normally see. And then the foot, uh, or I guess I don't know that that's a boot or whatnot, but the lacing on it is very intricate. And the, the great thing about this, it's 360 degree printing. So you see that leg print that goes all the way on the side here, including the skirt but also transitions all the way in the back and it's just done very well. Even the detail printing on the inside of the Lego piece which you don't normally see. Let's take off the hair print. Whoops, there goes her head. And she actually comes with two face prints which is nice as well. Great back print. Uh, overall a really impressive character. You can see her gauntlets on the side here and her sword. But uh, really impressive figure. If you guys want to check this out again, I'll put a link in the description. Next figure is Reverse Flash or Zoom. I can't remember which one's which. You guys are going to surely yell at me in the comments. But this is one of the ones that I opened up before and I really like this design. Not only for the head print, but uh, also the helmet that kind of goes over it. And it just looks really nice, nice and clean. I like the black. I like the red. Great contrast on there. Great uh, overall printing throughout this character. Even looking at the back, it, it's only printed on the torso, but it looks really nice. And it actually doesn't look segmented at all because the rest of the character is all black. I do appreciate this character. It's just one of my favorite Flash versions or uh, characters within the Flash. Next character, the Flash. Now, the difference, you might look at this at first and say, hey, this is just a regular Flash. There's no difference at all. But this is a custom, and I believe this one came from Engineerio. Make sure you check him out on his eBay shop. He has a different boot printing right here. It's actually done very well. It looks really nice on the side. You got the, um, the little uh, flash symbol on the side of his leg there. And it just, it takes the traditional Lego one and it takes it up a notch. So it's a really cool print, great idea. You see the solid yellow legs on the back there, but the red printing makes it almost look dual molded, which looks really nice. Next one is... CW Flash. Now, this is not quite the comic Flash, not quite the movie Flash, but this is a cross in, in between both. One thing to note about this specific character that I like a little bit more than the traditional Lego head is this helmet. I don't know, for whatever reason, I just think it looks a little bit better, and I think it doesn't make his head look a little bit off. Like, it doesn't look quite to scale with this head right here. I just like this overall uh, helmet that kind of goes on here. Other than that, it's pretty similar. Little details in the back. One head print, and the head print actually does come with uh, your lightning bolts directly on the head. So if you want to leave this mask off, you can. But I kind of like it on there. Just kind of gives it a little bit more completeness. Time to kick it up a notch. Okay, I really, I wanted to like this one. Um, so the, obviously the big difference between this one and any of the other ones is this one is chrome plated, which is such a cool idea. I mean, it gives it that more realistic look, more, uh, I don't know, kind of ties closer into maybe like the, the movie flash. As you can clearly see, it definitely falls flat with the painting that goes on over it. So great chrome printing, although the eyes are a little bit worn on the inside there but the regular paint just is not up to par and it looks really bad and the, the the difference here is kind of the ears not the ears but the lightning bolts on the side kind of stick up too high and it looks a little bit off i don't know i, I like the concept and i think it could have looked good 
but unfortunately the execution on it is just not up to par. Number six. Kind of like the chrome flash, the reverse chrome flash ends up lacking in the paint area. I mean, the chrome looks pretty decent, but when it comes to the paint over the chrome, it just doesn't hold up. Now, these are all boot Lego, so they're, the quality is not going to be there. You kind of just expect that, but anytime you go with a custom chrome painted figure, one thing to note is the actual thickness of the paint is a lot more than regular paint. So it, I had a really difficult time putting the head on this actual character's torso. Just one thing to note when you do get these. Great concept. Unfortunately, it just does not hold up. Uh, I mean, it just, the paint is so bad on it. Specifically on the boot print, it, it just, it's not worth even keeping. Time for a few shout outs. Control C, Trainer Jace, and Pokemon Channel 2017. Here's a huge thumbs up that goes out to you. Thank you guys so much for watching Toy Gander. And make sure you guys uh, pick that name for this character right here. If you're a subscriber, put that name in the comments below and you will get a chance to get shout out in the next video I do. Guys, that's what we have for today. I want to thank you so much for watching and until next time, you can help us take a gander. Wait, 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 before you click away, why don't you click one of these other Toy Gander videos? If you like this one, you're definitely gonna like these. And don't forget to subscribe because I upload twice a week, one on Wednesday, one on Saturdays, and you don't wanna miss out on what I upload next.